What's going on guys? It's actually April 8th right now when I'm editing this video. I originally filmed it before I left for my BC trip and I didn't get it edited before I left. So here it is. Um, since doing the video, I did put a Munster kill switch on when I was in BC because I trashed my factory one. It's gonna be the same process to wire that in as the finger throttle. So this video can still help you with that. I've been back from BC for quite a while now. Um, since getting back, I've been doing shift work up in Northern Sask and I haven't really done any editing. So uh, bear with me. I'm gonna have a bunch of videos coming out. I should have about nine or so videos coming out. Um, I ended up riding a total of 28 days this season and I've only uploaded up to day 18. So there's more content coming that way. Stay tuned and thanks for watching. What's going on guys? Another night in the shop here. Um, working on the G5 Turbo again. Long story short, I ordered these for my Polaris NR. However, it's not gonna be in, so I'm not taking it. Got the turbo now. So I exchanged them and they just came in back in the mail today. So tonight we're gonna put them on. Um, so yeah, we'll get to it and I'll show you guys the process. First off, we're gonna have to take off our panels. I'm gonna pop this guy out and we'll take the bolts out on both sides and the top, unplug your gauges unscrew uh, the clamp on the air box and we'll slide our hood off and uh, I'll show you guys how to get into the wiring. So a pretty easy process. First off, you can open up your panels, two and then two rubbers here. Break right there, pull this out and then uh, so just like that. There we go. Put these down so they don't get too scratched up. I don't know if I'm gonna leave this on or not, but uh, yeah, we'll leave it on there for now, I guess. Then you're gonna come around to this side, you're gonna open up your oil panel door, pop that open, take it off, comes out, pop out like that, I guess. I'm still learning, um, yeah. Take that guy, one more here, this one here, open that, and then uh, push this guy down and pull. And uh, that pops off just like so. We'll set this down here. Okay, so to take off the hood, you're gonna need a Torx 25 bit. I got mine on a little Milwaukee here. Um, I'm gonna take out this guy here. Two. Then you're gonna pop this open. So open, you gotta push it back. Lift up and pull out, just like so. You're gonna wanna unplug these two electric outlets that are here. So push down and pull, just like so. This one, push down, pull. Both those are detached. Um, then we're gonna unscrew this guy here and this one here. One, two, good. We'll put all these aside. Remember the ones with the washers go on the side and the long ones go on the top. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna unscrew this and then uh, once we loosen that, we can slide the whole hood off and uh, should uh, should be able to get at the wiring for the finger throttle here. Needed two hands to do that, but uh, all you gotta do is grab the top of the hood here and lift up and out and it comes off actually pretty easy. So now that we've got this all exposed, um, they actually, I want to note, they made this a lot easier than they did previously. I was previously riding an XM, so I like how there's no sensor to unplug on the top of this thing. It was kind of tough to get up before. Um, I know I didn't have a G4 before, but uh, nice couple improvements since the XM on hood removal. It's a bit easier. The wires that we're going to need to unplug for the thumb warmer I actually found right here. So we'll unplug this and we'll start taking out the wires from the from the plug. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna unbolt this, we're gonna get the throttle um, loosened off, take it off, and then we'll 
take out the, the wires from the loom here and uh, trace it back to the plug. So all you gotta do is unscrew this guy. And to get that unscrewed, all you gotta do is push it out this off and then uh, we can detach this from the bars and we'll start taking off the throttle cable. We gotta pull that circlip and then uh, we'll pull this out. Just wanted to mention too, I forgot, but uh, you gotta push this knob in so you can slide out the plate. Uh, I also had to loosen my kill switch to make room to slide this out. So take that out and then your throttle is free to come off the bars. There you go. I gotta cut a couple zip ties here. Cut this guy. Take that off. And you can so yeah, these are the two wires right here we're gonna have to take off of, uh, of here. First thing we have to do is take this throttle apart so we can take out the hand warmers for the bars and then we'll also have to take off the throttle cable, which is just right here. So we'll pop that circlip and uh, we'll pop it off. So all I did was I grabbed this hook, uh, hooked it onto the, the circlip, pulled it off no, I should have this the other way, but uh, I should have left this clamped on the bar and took off the circlip, but it doesn't matter. Um, so now we will take off the throttle and take off the throttle cable. Once you get the throttle off, I'm just gonna use a hook and pull it through and uh, get it out of there. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Go. Oh, got that taken off. Gonna pop it out. Comes through the bottom side like so. One other thing I forgot to mention is we're gonna have to unplug the hand warmers as well from the plug so we can pull off the throttle block. So now we've got that done. We're gonna turn our um, attention to the plug and start pulling out these wires. So I cut the zip ties, you follow the wire down, comes out here. What we're gonna do is push in this tab and slide out the plug. Once you get that unplugged, we're gonna pull it out here so we can work on it and uh, start pulling out the pins. First thing we're gonna do is pop out the white cap. All you need is a little screwdriver and you're gonna pry it out. Pry it, just gonna pop this off and then you expose all your wires. So the ones you're gonna wanna unplug are the orange and the brown. So we'll pull our plug up here and uh, we'll get those pulled out. So all you're gonna need is a pick tool and I'll show you how to pull them. Pretty easy process to pull these out. Uh, what you wanna do is find which ones they are on the back. So first one we'll go for the orange, we'll find it. And then all you're gonna do is stick the screwdriver in there and there's a little tab right above it. I'm gonna pull up on it and you can pull out your wires like so try and show you guys there's a little black tab above here what I do is push in up and pull pull it out like so okay so once you got the orange ones out we'll pull the brown ones out now same procedure as last time remember you know which one goes where uh, we got brown on the inside and orange on the outside. So now that we've got these four wires out of the plug, we can pull them through the loom and pull this off and then pull this old throttle out of there. So the easiest way to do is just pull off the loom itself and uh, detach. So I pulled this off. Now we just gotta block through there don't need that anymore next thing you want to do is you're going to grab your monster finger throttle pull it out uh, grab the wires you're going to trace the wires back through with the hand warmers for the bars and trace them through with the kill switch wires bring them back to the plug put your wire loom back on zip tie it up and then we'll plug everything back into the plug and put that put that back together Okay, once you got everything ran through and you got all your wires ready for the plug, we'll start plug and play. Remember, 
Uh, the replacement ones from the Munster are black. So the black wires are gonna go to the second one from the outside and our orange are gonna go back where they were on the outside. Last thing you wanna make sure you do is twist and turn the wires so they're nicely lined up inside. You don't want them half turned or uh, facing the wrong way. So once you put that in like that, you're gonna set your white plug in on top and just push down. Once it snaps into place, you can see your pins are all nicely lined up. You can plug it back in where it needs to go. But first, what I'm gonna do is uh, run the wire loom over top. Okay, once you get your loom all back on your wires, I just put some zip ties along it just to make sure it doesn't open up again. It'll pull it back through the way you had it so you don't burn anything. Um, next thing all you're gonna do is just gonna push it back in and uh, plug it in here. Once it's all routed through, you're gonna wanna mount your throttle. Okay, once you get it loosely on there, I just gonna wanna tighten up slightly and then you're gonna wanna mock it up where it best fits your hand on the bar. Once you get them mocked up roughly where you want them, you're gonna wanna grab your throttle cable and start putting that back in. One thing I wanna stress is don't lose this little circlip that comes with your kit. Um, you can use the stock one, but uh, I would recommend using this guy. Just don't lose it. I forgot to mention, um, before you put it in the throttle block, I had to take it off, but you gotta run your uh, finger guard through it. Another thing I wanna mention is uh, Boondock Nation recommends uh, filing this guy down. There is some sharp edges on it from factory, so if you file it down, it could prevent your throttle cable from snapping prematurely, um, just from getting binded up when it's rotating back and forth. Um, in your throttle, so. Okay, once you get that lined up, you uh, just put your throttle cable through here again, like it did before, and you set it into the block. You just slide it in there and let it tension up. Have your, your T hooked up there. Just grab the little circlip that's in this little pocket here of the package, and uh, see if you can get that focus, and you just slide it on there, and uh, make sure it's intact. And then uh, that's it for that. Then all, all you're gonna wanna do is grab the two bolts that come with the throttle guard, thread them through here and here, tighten them up, and then you'll be ready to position your throttle. Well, that's about it, guys. Um, I'm gonna position my throttle the way I like it and my kill switch. Then I'm just gonna tidy up my wires and cords, zip tie them together, tie them up nice. And then uh, I'll put my heat shield back on here, throw the hood back on, and uh, button it all up, that's about it. I'll, uh, I guess I'll show you guys the end product after it's all put back together. Well, this is the final product. Uh, I think it turned out pretty nice. Munster has got pretty good uh, fit and finish on their stuff. Pretty happy with the way the, the setup turned out this year. Big fan of the expert brake lever that they got. Uh, it's a lot smaller than previous years. They got the brake reservoir protector as well. Tidied up the bars a little bit, and uh, yeah, we'll get this thing on the snow. I'm excited to try it out. Stay tuned for more content, guys. Uh, we're getting ready to head to Revelstoke here this week. Uh, we take off on Tuesday. Got a couple things to finish up with my truck, finish up some wiring, and uh, yeah, we'll be taking off. If you guys are liking the content, like and subscribe.